Hello everybody, this is Mike Dietrich speaking and today I'd like to show you the first part of a database upgrade to 18.3.0 on premises. First part today will be the pre-upgrade chart. So first of all we start with support.oracle.com, the knowledge database, and we download the most recent version with MossNode 8845.22.1. That gets you access to all the pre-upgrade tools. We scroll down a bit and just the first one is the 18C version because we would like to upgrade to 18C and it's on Unix so I download this one here and once it is downloaded I access the file so I'm in my home directory go to downloads and here it is. So you can now either copy it to your 18C RDBMS admin directory and unzip it there. I unzip it here and then copy the files over. Whatever you do, both works quite well. The $OH18 is just my shortcut that points always to my 18C Oracle home. So here are the files. It's a number of files, all starting with pre-upgrade. And now I would like to execute the pre-upgrade char against my 11.2 database. So I have an 11.204 database here called UPGR. You see it, double check, select instance from VDOLA thread, UPGR, all fine. And I will execute now the pre-upgrade char with Java minus char. Then I copied it to the 18 home, so dollar OH18 RDBMS admin pre upgrade char. And as I would like to see the output as text and on a terminal, I say text and terminal. Our options would be XML for DBA, for instance, or just the log files. But the output we see here by the tool will be written into a log file, anyways. So I upgrade to database 18. No worries about the five or four digits here. It's 18C, in my case, 18.3.0. Database in no archive log mode, enterprise edition database. So first of all, we display the components and you see all the components are valid, which is important for the upgrade. And then the output of the pre-upgrade char is divided in two big pieces before upgrade with required actions first, then recommended actions next. And as the third part, and they are numbered as you can see, and as the third part information only. And then the fourth part is the the link to the generated fix up script. We come to this in a second. And the second part is after upgrade. So two big blocks before and after upgrade. So I open the next terminal and log into my database UPGR with SQL plus. So I have two terminals open here. And the first thing is required action is I should run the OLS pre upgrade. This is for label security to clean up. And uh, uh, audit table is in system schema, must be moved in sys, and this is prepared by the script here and will be finalized during the upgrade. Then we have recommended actions. So in this case, parameters I have to adjust, processes and SGA target, process to 300, SGA target to a gig. So this is my next action. All the system set processes equals 300, scope SP file, because I don't want to have it an effect in my current environment. I could also create a p file and in or on edit it directly there i go the lazy way and massage my sp file directly but just to be on the safe side i create now a p file from sp file just in case i mistyped something completely here let's go back to the output next thing is schema dictionary stats but you see that marker auto fix ups and auto fix ups means we fix that in a pre upgrade fix up scripts already and the same for the fixed object stats. That is also an auto fix up, so no action from your side required here. Let's go to information only. That now shows me only the table spaces and the, uh, the, the sizes we think we'll need. And all is auto extend on, so there's no activity needed here as well. And finally, we generate an auto fix up script. So I copy the path here with the script name. So it's before upgrades as auto fix up. Let me copy this and execute it in my terminal in the other X term. 
And once this completed, recycle bin is empty and so on, dictionary statistics gathered. And while after the script has been run here, you see that we do a check output. And now you see the corresponding numbers, so first, second, third, and fifth. And when we go back to the output of the pre-upgrade char and scroll up a bit, you see that you find the corresponding numbers here. So first was the OLS pre-upgrade, second was the initialization parameters, and let's check back on the other side. OLS Swiss move has been done, completed. The parameters, you, you saw it, I checked it, I changed it, but it doesn't get displayed here because it's not visible to this database environment right now. And we can only check what's really visible at the moment. And finally, information only, the table space info. So all is good in my database. I can shut down all my database. And the next step will be to upgrade my database to 18.3.0. And this will be the next video. So thanks for your attention. And have a great day. Or watch the other video, the part 2, about upgrading the database to 18.3.0.